Yo, 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 this is Slightly Bathbuster Pros, and welcome to the second episode of C64 Kodaking Utils here on YouTube. In this episode, I'll be giving you a short overview of the wonderful cross development IDE C64 Studio. It can do just about anything you want, it's almost a game construction kit in itself. It's brilliant, I can't say enough about it. So, firstly, let's go and download it. Go to c64studio.coplex.com, link is in the description, and you'll find a SourceForge like project page on Codeplex. Just click on Downloads and click the C64 Studio 5.0 download, C64 Studio release.zip. Download it and unzip it to your main drive. Then open the folder and double click C64 Studio. Now here we have what looks like a normal development IDE, a normal boring editor and a compiler, nothing special. And in my old development environment I had to use Realon64, TAS64 compiler and CarPad and SpritePad as well as GoTracker or another music program to do all of my work. With C64 Studio, as you see if you look in window, it has many tools. It has a built-in deci decimal binary hexadecimal calculator. But it's more than that. It has a car set editor. You can make your own characters live for your games and, you, and, you, and your intros. It's got a car screen editor, so you can make Petsky screens, or even graphical screens with characters. It's got its own disassembler, which we'll go into much later which allows you to simply take programs that have already been compiled or assembled and deassemble them and uh, disassemble them and then view their source and re reassemble them in your own way. It's got a graphic screen editor, so it's got a text screen editor for Petsky, it's got a graphic screen editor for character screens. It's got a map editor, what's more, where you can change the tile size and um, the, the size of the map and you can, you can store more than one map in memory at a time. It's got a Petsky table, which is great if you're doing graphics. And Petsky, um, the graphical ca character set of the Commodore 64, is brilliant for doing graphical user interfaces if you're in a hurry. And it's got a sprite editor built in as well, which is just brilliant. I'm not sure if the sprite editor can do animations, but it probably can. We'll have a more in-depth review of C64 Studio in a couple of episodes of time. I just wanted to get this out there so you could grab this wonderful program and get running straight away. Um, it's got a built-in compiler. So we'll open a source file. Here's my bare bones raster file. Now, um, I haven't converted my, my code from the blog, from the C64 code hacking blog, uh, into Acme format yet. Now the C64 Studio uh, has a built-in Acme compiler. You don't have to do anything to configure it. You just click on compile. Now of course my source is made for TAS64 and it's not compatible with Acme. So I have to convert it. And it's not hard but um, I'll be doing that later today and we'll be going into some source code and simple programs within the next few days. And you'll want to get the $5 monthly pledge on Patreon for that, because that's the only way you'll be getting the source files, I'm afraid, unless you want to copy them off the screen. It's, I, I, I'm afraid that the only way that I can continue to do this channel and be dedicated to it is to charge a small amount for access to the source files and for assistance with any code help you might need. I think it's rather reasonable. Only two coffees a month, people. Okay, well that's my overview of C64 Studio. I highly recommend it. Um, it's it's brilliant. I, I was planning to build my own graphic in, integrated development environment for a game engine uh, recently, and um, this takes the place of all those tools that I would have had to program myself in an advanced high-level language, which is just brilliant. So if you like this um, tool, then um, let me know in the comments. And I'll be releasing my own version of it in the next episode, along with some source files that you can play with. Isn't that nice of me? All right, that's all I've got to say for the, for this episode. So it's goodbye from me and hello to code. 
Good morning, world. See ya.